Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss a controversial topic that made its rounds on social media some time ago. Be sure to watch the full video. At the end, I'm going to share some comments that may help those of you who are interested in stepping up your game. I came across this topic recently on my For You page. TikToker known as The Stylish Investor created a list of things that she believes make women look dusty or unkempt, which sparked a significant backlash. This incident raises important questions about societal norms, appearance judgments, and the impact they can have on individuals. And by the way, I chose the title because it's an attention grabber. I don't recall her ever telling anyone directly that they were dusty. Just wanted to put that out there. I don't know her personally, but I am going to call her Tiffany in the remainder of this video. Tiffany's list included various aspects of personal appearance, such as wearing faded or stained clothing, having chipped nail polish, visible bra straps, wearing pajamas in public, wearing bonnets in public, and even tattoo or piercing placement. Let's take a look at some of the negative feedback that Tiffany received. So it's all physical attributes. Do you know their financial situation before you judge? I'm calling this negative feedback because you don't have to spend a fortune in order to look put together. This next person said, damn, people just can't live their lives? Yes, people can just live their lives. She's just letting women know that, unfortunately, your appearance matters in our society. And if you look dusty, people are going to give you dusty treatment. The next person said, why does it matter? I swear some of y'all be too worried about other people. And that's the point of the criticism. Again, we live in a society where people do worry about what other people are wearing. Your appearance can make or break you in our society. And this next person said, y'all are picked, congrats. And to that, I say thank you. Because if not looking dusty means that someone will get picked for that job, they'll be able to provide for themselves and their children if they have any. Imagine calling people pick me's because they wanna look presentable. This person said, what's dusty is this video, babe? So it's dusty to give women advice on how to look presentable? This next person said, mean girl energy. Let's focus on ourselves. Your spirit is dusty. She sounds like the mean girl. And apparently Tiffany's leave out wasn't blended, which she addressed in part two. So a lot of hit dogs took the opportunity to holler about that. Honestly, I didn't see anything wrong with her leave out. And even after multiple people mentioned it, I still didn't see what they were talking about. I find it interesting that people who can spot something like that would get worked up about her advice. If you can see that, imagine what others can see. Imagine what that corporate hiring manager sees when you walk into their office for your interview and you look like you're going to the club. What's interesting is that women will be jealous and envious of someone like Tiffany, but will call her a pick-me when she puts them on game. She literally gives women the blueprint, but they're still complaining. The reason why I chose to give her a shout out is because of her transparency. She even talks about the cosmetic procedures she has had done. Some women are fighting for the right to be dusty, and I guess that's okay, but don't expect everyone around you to dim their light for you. The backlash she received highlighted the opposing viewpoint, that judging someone's character or worth based on their appearance is inherently wrong. Many argue that the way someone dresses or presents themselves is a personal choice and should not be subject to criticism or judgment. However, the reality is that appearances do matter in our society, whether we like it or not. Fair or unfair, the way we present ourselves can influence the way others perceive us and the opportunities that come our way. Research has shown that individuals who appear well-groomed and put together are often perceived as more competent, successful, and trustworthy, regardless of their actual abilities or character. This can have far-reaching consequences in various aspects of life, such as employment, professional advancement, and social interactions. It's important to acknowledge that not everyone has equal access to resources or the means to maintain a polished appearance at all times. Financial constraints, health issues, or personal circumstances may make it challenging for some individuals to prioritize their outward appearance. Nevertheless, the fact remains that appearance judgments, conscious or unconscious, are a part of our societal fabric, and they can significantly impact an individual's opportunities and perception by others. While it's understandable to criticize the harsh and judgmental tone of Tiffany's list, it also serves as a reminder of the importance society places on appearances, whether we agree with it or not. Ultimately, the conversation surrounding this incident 
highlights the need for greater awareness and empathy regarding the impact of appearance judgments. While striving for a polished appearance can be advantageous in certain situations, it's important to recognize that an individual's worth extends far beyond their outward appearance. As a society, we should work towards creating a more inclusive and understanding environment where individuals are judged based on their character, abilities, and actions, rather than superficial aspects of their appearance. By fostering empathy and recognizing the diverse challenges individuals face, we can create a more compassionate and equitable society for all. In the meantime, as our society is clearly not there yet, I'm going to close this video with more advice on how to not look dusty. Let's look at some comments from Tiffany's videos. Bad mannerisms make women look dusty. Loud for no reason. Whew, clothes that are too small, crusty face or lips, no moisturizer on your body slash ashy skin, shoes leaning to the side. I know this is an expensive fix, but missing side teeth or other obvious dental issues. Earwax in your ear or yellow teeth. Also face piercing scars and faded tattoos, lash glue residue. I can go on and on. People are so outraged saying this is privileged. Even at my poorest, I never had ashy skin. It's Vaseline from the dollar store and non-faded clothes can be found thrifted. You just have to look. You know when people smoke and their lips turn blackish slash dark brownish and their teeth are stained yellow. Wearing open toe shoes and your feet not done. Going out with wrinkled clothes. People really don't understand. Lint balls are the worst to see on a cute outfit. Throw the leggings away. I'd say the way makeup is applied can make someone look dusty real fast. Flared collars, synthetic materials, long nails in unnatural colors, wearing bonnets or any kind of bedroom attire outside the home, you dusty. I'm not sure how people would be offended by this unless it applies. You don't have to have a lot of money to look clean. These are really good tips if a person is trying to have a more polished look. Fabric softener saves clothes from looking dull and a cup full of vinegar in the washing machine keeps colors from fading so quickly. Clumpy mascara lashes, wearing heel tips down to the nail instead of replacing the tip. Just basic hygiene, like wash your face, brush teeth, wear a bra that fits. If your tongue is full of white coating and you love sticking it out, do better. The swoops of adult hair on lace wigs masked as baby hair do it for me. LOL, just slick it neatly. LOL, the way we do our real hairlines. Finances does not mean you have to look unkempt. Very few of the things she mentioned require money to maintain. Take care of your clothes slash hygiene. White deodorant chunks under your arms or deodorant marks on your clothes. For the ones who smoke, cover up or air out the smell before you go somewhere. Can smell that ish in your damn wig and clothes. SMH. For my black women, not wearing a neutral color bra with a white slash light colored tops is tacky. Same goes for underwear. I agree with all your points. Others. Long, fake, claw-looking nails and super long fake lashes equals tacky and unrefined. Having damaged hair and not doing anything for it. When you carry yourself and take care of yourself better, you'll feel and look better. I want us all to look and feel beautiful, inside and out. Fake designer anything. Dusty. Pet hair on clothes, wearing bonnets or pajamas out in public. This reminds me of my mom saying, poor doesn't mean dirty. You can still find a way to look polished. Add clothes that are too tight or don't fit. Wearing PJs to catch a flight. When you smell like a certain place such as your house, outside, etc. Dusty, you should always keep perfume on or a decent smell cracked, dirty heels and slides or sandals. I'm a guy, and you got me wanting to step it up. This is real talk. A hurt dog will holler. Feelings. This is just proper presentation. Bottom of pants that's been dragging ripped up hems is something I always notice. Chewing gum aggressively or popping it. I agree so much with having a clean car. I'm always surprised by the amount of compliments I get just by keeping my car clean. 
bumping music from your car at an obnoxiously loud volume. Oh, I don't know if this one was said, but not wearing proper shapewear when it is needed. It's called having class and pride in yourself and appearance. Crusty, clumpy lashes, flaky, clumpy edges, socks with the sandals irk me. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I think any visible tattoos look a little dusty on women going for a soft look. Cursing in every sentence, not knowing the importance of propriety. There is a time and place for everything. I heard the CEO of our company and his colleagues laughing about fake lashes of candidates. They see it as low class and ghetto. Now talk about that being dusty in private because I've seen some beautiful women with nasty houses. I'm guilty of smudgy glasses and I hate a nasty car and ashy knuckles. The bonnet is true. If I see a guy in a wave cap or a woman in a bonnet, I automatically assume ghetto no matter who it is. A cute cap goes a long way. Walking around with their rear ends out in public, don't forget about that one. Depression got me looking dusty as F. Can't wait to glow up. You forgot to do the bat wings that they wear as eyelashes and the baby hairs that touch the eyebrows. Overly ripped jeans, like whole thigh and knee out. Smoke breath or coffee breath or unpleasant smells. A clean body is better than cheap perfume. Unblended makeup. A cracked iPhone screen. Bestie, get it fixed. Bonnets, house shoes, slash slippers, and pajama pants outside equals dusty. Wearing slides with socks or folding the bra straps in your tube top when it's clearly visible. Be sure to leave your self-improvement advice in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, share it, and subscribe or follow us for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.